Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about one of the very important type of statistical analysis that is inferential statistical analysis. We are going to start with the definition of statistical inference and after that we will understand this definition using a simple example. At the end, I will talk about the different techniques we have in inferential statistics including hypothesis testing and confidence interval. Right? So watch till the end guys. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss out any of the video in this series. Inferential statistics from the name itself, it's quite clear guys that we are going to make some decisions or we are going to draw some conclusions from some kind of evidence. That's what inferencing means, right? So now let's look at the uh, real definition of inferential statistics. In inferential statistics, we draw conclusions or we can say we make some kind of decisions, right? About the population, this is the most important part of it, guys, that we are going to draw the conclusion about the population, not about the sample, by examining or we can say by analyzing the sample extracted from the population. Right. So we are going to make the decisions about the population by analyzing the sample which we have extracted from the population itself. Right. So I hope this definition is clear. This is pretty simple guys, but a lot of people get confused in this definition. And if this is clear, then half of the inferential statistics is almost done guys. Right. So spend time to understand this definition. Let me explain this using a simple example and an illustration, right? Now let's take an example of a um, chocolate manufacturing uh, company, let's say Cadbury, right? Now they want to find out what is the average weight of their chocolate, right? Now for that purpose, what they need to do, they have to collect all the chocolates they have manufactured and then they have to find out the weight of all of those chocolates and then they have to average them out. Right. That's what that's the ideal calculation of average weight of the chocolates. Cadbury chocolate. That's the ideal thing. But is it possible? It's not possible because chocolates, all the chocolates they have manufactured, it's not possible to collect data of all those chocolates. Right. A lot of them have been consumed by the users, customers, or they might not have in their plant, whatever reason. But definitely they cannot work on the population. They cannot collect the data about the population. So that's where the inferential statistics come in the picture. And it helps you to solve this particular problem. Now, what we can do about this problem, rather than working on the population, we can extract the sample using different sampling techniques we discussed in our series. Right? Let's say we have collected the data about 10,000 chocolate that will be our sample, right? Sample size is 10,000. Now, using our descriptive statistics or descriptive statistical analysis, which we discussed in our last five to seven videos in our series, guys, where we talked about three different type of measures, including central tendency measures, where we have mean, median mode, measure of spread, where we discussed about range, standard deviation, variance, and interquartile range. And the third type was measure of shape, where we talked about skewness and kurtosis, right? So we can use those measures to analyze this sample, right? Now, in this particular case, which one is the most suitable measure we need? That is sample mean, guys, right? So now let's say we have calculated the sample mean of this, and this is coming as 99 gram. Whatever, 100 gram, 200 gram, whatever. Let's take an example of 99 gram. Now, this is descriptive analysis, guys. Descriptive statistical analysis. Now, in case of inferential statistics, we need to infer about the population, not about the sample, guys. Now, to actually infer about the population from this sample, you need a techno uh, technique, which we call it as parameter estimation. Okay? where we are going to learn about two techniques, point estimation and confidence interval, which will tell you with some confidence that the population mean or population chocolates 
एवरेज बेड लाइज बिटवीन टू नंबर ऑफ बिटवीन ए एंड बी हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट ए एंड बी बेसिकली अपर बाउंड एंड लोअर बाउंड दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन आवर अपकमिंग वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू कॉन्फिडेंस इंट्रो राइट बट दिस इज वन ऑफ द टेक्निक वी यूज टू इंफर अबाउट द पॉपुलेशन फ्रॉम द सैम्पल right so this is the approach this is the crux of inferential statistics we cannot work on the population we extract the sample using sampling technique and from that sample we infer about the population right so one side we have inference uh, opposite side we have a sampling technique right so i hope this definition is clear to you now there are two very important methodologies we use in inferential statistics those are parameter estimation as we discussed in this particular example and another one is hypothesis testing we will discuss about these two in detail in our upcoming 15 to 20 videos guys okay so parameter estimation i hope you understood how do we calculate the parameters like population mean population median population standard deviation all those parameters of the population from the sample for that we have two techniques one is point estimation and another one is confidence interval now there is a, another class of techniques or methodology we have to solve other type of problem that is hypothesis testing guys so here what we do we will have a claim or statement about the population right we will have already have the claim or statement about the population and using sample we will make the decision whether this statement is true or false whether we can accept it or we cannot accept it and that we will do using sample right so now this uh, process or methodology we call it as hypothesis testing now they are further divided into one sample two sample and if we have more than two populations or two sample then we actually use anova all of these things we will discuss later right idea of this video was to give you a flavor of inferential statistics i hope you understood the definition using this simple example and these are the techniques we are going to discuss in our upcoming videos guys so last point again if you are new to this channel subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss out any of the video we have we will have in on these topics guys okay thank you guys bye bye see you tomorrow